Overview In December 2019, a new coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2 arose from a zoonotic source in Wuhan, China. One of its main characteristics is that it propagates easily through airborne droplets to the respiratory system in symptomatic and asymptomatic patients. Health workers are up to three times more likely to acquire the virus, with up to 20% having contracted the disease in some regions. Due to the way SARS-CoV-2 is transmitted, endoscopy rooms and digestive endoscopy procedures are an easy source of dissemination. Since these procedures are performed with an environment of contamination, there is a great risk of infection for both patients and health personnel working there. Our current concern in the endoscopy unit of the Columbia University Clinic is to protect in the best way possible the expulsion of, of aerosols by patients and health personnel. For this reason, we designed an acrylic face shield with an orifice at the mouth level, with a simple opening and closing system to introduce the endoscope. This to avoid the exchange of aerosols between patients and health workers before, during and after the endoscopy. In the first image, we have the frontal view of our prototype face shield. In the second one, we have the lateral view. And in the third one, we have a picture of how the opening and closing system works. Here we were making the first tests with our face shield prototype. This is how the face shield would fit a real patient. This is the model of a patient, represented by the first author, wearing the face shield waiting to be called. The patient is called into the endoscopy room, wearing the face shield at all times. They get into the right position then they are instructed to insert the dental protection underneath the face shield. Once it's in the right position, we can introduce the endoscope. And after we finish the endoscopy, we can see all the aerosol that gets trapped underneath the face shield. This is an actual patient who gave us his permission to be recorded and included in this video. We introduce the endoscope and we get to do the endoscopy as usual. After we finish the procedure, we extract the endoscope and at the end here you can see again all the fluids and all the aerosols that get trapped beneath the mask. In conclusion, endoscopic procedures have a high risk of COVID-19 contamination due to the presence of aerosols. Thereby, it is necessary to use extra protective elements by patients and workers. We design a new face shield to protect patients and health workers before, during and after endoscopy.